And uh, Hep, why don't you just give us a little bit of background, some of the history. What, what happened here? Okay, uh, this is Meli Haula, and she used to own the home. And they lived in this property for about 37 years. And then Chase had um, sold the servicing rights to Celine Finance. Default, it was on a predatory mortgage. It was a LIBOR, adjustable rate mortgage for 30 years, mind you, six month adjustable. There were up to, I believe there were up to 4,000 a month. 4,000 a month, and it increases every six months. This is one of the scandals that were perpetrated towards the homeowners. Again, the British government, as well as the German uh, banking system. Just looking at this real possession, it doesn't say a date. It just basically shows that it was signed, well, actually stamped February 27th by pseudo judge Bert Ayabi. So it's just a stamp. So, how do we even know that he even executed this? You know, but it doesn't give a specific date to for the writ of possession. And it basically said there was no trial date. You know, why was, why was there not a trial date set when the Seventh Amendment of the U.S. Constitution specifically affords? all citizens that right if they're going to be deprived of their uh, property. Sovereign citizen Anthony Williams, fake attorney general, here to save the day. Boy, take that fake ass badge off. So I'm looking at this, uh, this real possession. It's, it's really defective on his face. It doesn't even say what time, you know, or giving them a time frame to even to get their belongings to try to even get out. They just basically gave U.S. Bank National Association uh, the go-ahead to take full possession thereof. But that's going to kind of be impossible. How can a corporate, a corporation, which is a dead entity, take possession of anything? Only live beings can take possession. So I, it was, it's very interesting how U.S. Bank National is going to take possession of this house. I would like to see that. And who is U.S. Bank National? Where? Because they have to be a live entity, a live being. Only live beings can occupy. So how is U.S. Bank National going to even execute a possession? That's what I want to see. They'll probably hire a sheriff or a marshal. Private Attorney General. Yes, sir. Private Attorney General. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got this, uh, How may I help? Private Attorney General. Uh, uh, well, right well, these people are supposed to be people here. Uh, no, sir. I've already faxed the sheriff's office. You have? Yes, I did. At the sheriff's right. office? Yes, I did. Michael Why the sheriff's office? Why not the attorney? Why are you guys taking pictures of me? Well, I faxed them the information to the sheriff's department, notifying them that their eviction process is illegal because they're not a party of interest in the transaction. Also, that they have no jurisdiction in the civil case and that unless this case has been adjudicated by a trial by jury, then there will be in violation of the due process of law clause. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, the yeah, sheriff, yeah. I'll yeah, notify the sheriff right here. that yeah. the eviction yeah. process uh, is illegal right. because there was yeah. not a trial by jury. Yeah. Okay. I don't know anything about that. I understand. Sure I understand. Yeah. Yeah. It's, my, it's my duty, sir, yeah. to protect the people. They can't come in and just kick somebody out of their private property or their home without that lawful due process of law. So I've already faxed them that information, basically just looking for a uh, response. And you are a private attorney general. Yes, sir. Here's my number on the back. Private, private, attorney, attorney, private general. attorney general. Certified so Secretary of State. General. Yeah, what is that, by the way? Title 42, USC 1988. Title 42, USC. That's it. 1988. You have a card, by the way? What's your authority? My, I'm, I'm giving you authority. Who gives you Title the authority? The Congress did. This dude is out here on the street straight up lying to people. Congress did not give you authority to do anything. They have no idea who you are. So stop lying. 
Like we can't use force to remove them from the premises. That's the law. Congress yeah. a, a private that, attorney. That's right. A private attorney. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. right, write down my number. Special, please. Write down my number. Special number. No, 12 dash 6799. Wait, what? 12 dash 6799. That's my certification. That's my document. 877 741. Nine seven two four. My extension is one five three. There will be no eviction from this house because they own this home, and there was not a trial by jury. According Don't tell to me those things. Okay. That's no, not I, my, I have to tell you. That's not my concern. My concern. No, but, but that's my concern <coughs> yeah, because right. these these people will not be evicted. Did you talk to the house. attorney on this? I, I sent him a letter also, but now you let you need to let RCO know. <laughs> that any more documentation or any more communication, then I will be filing harassment charges against them. Okay, yeah, I'll let them know. And, and tell them, do not send any more process servers out here, and the sheriff do not come out here, because you will be trespassing, and you will be treated as a trespasser according to the law. Because the common law is the law that rules this state, under Hawaii Revised Statute 1, Section 1. Are you with some kind of sovereignty or something? All the people are sovereign, sir. No, no, are you, are you with no, sovereignty? The American people, sir. That's who are sovereign. Have you read your constitution lately? Have you read the U.S. Constitution? I don't, I don't want to get involved in this. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying, sir. If you read the constitution, the sovereignty rests with the people. Okay, the state, the city, the county, and the government is subordinate. I'll tell you what. No, you're not caught it. You can, so you can, you wait, you can stand out. No, I'm not threatening. I'm, that's not a threat. That's a promise. You stand outside well, on that road, too. but you will not come on this private property, or you will be arrested. Is that understood? I'm not laughing. Well, who's who's going to be arresting me? I'm, I, if I have to, I will. You're not going to arrest okay. nobody. If I have and to, I'll arrest both of you. Come and arrest and, you guys, and, I, and we'll arrest the sheriff too. The, the we'll, we can arrest the sheriff too. All right, we'll see what happens. Okay, like we, I say, I'll, we'll I'll run this through there. Yeah, run it through. And whatever the end result is. Well, the end what, result what, is these. these you got to do your owner. job. Exactly. I got to do my job. Exactly. You understand? I understand that. That's why I'm doing my job. Okay. Okay. Now you all can go ahead and leave. I believe, probably. You don't have to leave. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. Yes, you do. You have to get off the property. We're not trespassing. And tell them if they have a problem with me, they can call uh, the attorney, U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder. When they call that number, they can press number two to get him directly. Which is cool. Right, you just press number two. And that'll get you directly to his office. All right, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Service, the sheriff's office don't come to this home because there will be no eviction process at this house not under the common law not in this state not in no other state as long as the common law office of america is involved Now, what we just saw here was sovereign citizen Anthony Williams trying to prevent a eviction. So what he did pretty much was have a standoff with the person that was coming to evict those people. All he did was buy the homeowners maybe another day or two before the individual he had to stand off with figured out that he was bogus and they just probably came and still evicted the person a couple of days later. Now, this is exactly why this man, Eric Williams, was charged with fraud because we saw him out there acting like he was an attorney general and he really isn't. This dude is living in the land of make-believe. Hey, let's go.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.